All right, it has been two days. Time to add the good stuff. We have our uh, nine ounces of uh, dry hops of, that we're gonna put in our uh, session IPA today. Uh, so again, we're just checking everything out. We're looking at our temperature here. None of the heat, none of the cooling's on. Fermentation's going strong. Um, so uh, it's time to do this. Uh, we like to add our dry hops about two to three days after uh, the brew has, uh, the, the fermentation has started. And uh, we want to um, make sure that it's really going when we add them, add the dry, uh, add the hop, the dry hops to it. It just tends to be working better for what we do. So we'll just open this up here. So, then we'll grab, uh, Bob, can you hand me that uh, funnel that we just uh, star sand up? So we have a, have a nice funnel. We just cut the bottom off uh, on our particular uh, conical fermenter. Uh, we added a uh, uh, inch and a half triclover adapter in here. Um, so we will pop this off. Start sand real quick. Oh, I got it. There. You mean that? So you can tell everybody what the noise is? Okay. So we can see that we got some, you know, all the fermentation's going. You know, the dry hops are added into the conical here. And it's just so much action and the, the, the hop, the dry hop uh, pellets are all popping, coming apart and everything else. And just the yeast is eating it and <clears throat> straighten all the pressure coming out through the blow off. Uh, but since we had that top open for a little bit of time, um, we have put this uh, inch and a half tri clover uh, to um, ball lock fitting so we can add some CO2 into it. Uh, everybody gets to be um, very technical. You don't want to have air getting in. So we made this little bracket on here, add some CO2 to it so it'll blank at the top with some CO2. It'll purge out all of the air that we had added in. 
So that's how we add our dry hops, and it's between two to three days. And uh, like I was talking about before, on the bottom of our conical, we've added this um, <clears throat> yeast catcher, they call it. Um, so you can see, which nice thing is you kind of use it as like a sight glass. You can take a look in here and you can see all the yeast, all the dead yeast is dropping out. That some of the original hops from the original brew day are dropping out. So everything is all in here. And you can see how the, some of the active yeast is coming up and down, up and down, which is very interesting. So that's how we do it.